So in order to use the WISE app, you will need to download it from the Play Store. So I'll search WISE, W-I-S-E, A-P-P, and it is the first result. So I click on that and click on the install button. Now the app is installed, I'll open it. First thing it will ask for is my phone number. So let me just enter my phone number. So I'll enter my phone number. It should give me an OTP. It, it's a four digit OTP. I've received that, I'll enter that. So now uh, I'm, I'm inside the app. It asked me for my name. So I'll enter my name and ask me to select my profile. So I'll select the profile of a teacher and click on next. I can also upload my picture, but I can do that later as well. So now my teacher account is created and it says I haven't created any class. So I'll click on the plus button and that allows me to uh, create my first class. So I'll enter the classroom name. Let's say I'm teaching class 10th. So I enter class 10A and let's say I'm a physics teacher. So I enter physics in the subject. Next I'll do is I'll add timings. Uh, timings uh, refers to the uh, days and the time that I'm teaching. Let's say Tuesday 9 to 10. So I've selected 9 to 10 and let's say Friday it's 1 to 2. It has to be PM so I can change it to PM. Uh, so I can, I can do this. I can select other days as well if I want to. And next thing that I'll do is I'll save timings. I'll click on create. So my first classroom has been created. Uh, so I'll click on this card, I enter the class. So this shows a class with no students yet because I just created it. It tells me the timings of this. So I can click on invite students uh, to invite my students to this class. So once I click on invite students, it, it creates a message which I can send through WhatsApp or, or any other medium. So I'll send through WhatsApp, I can send it to my student WhatsApp group or let me send it to Rahul who I know is the student of this class. So I send the message to Rahul, Rahul gets the link to download the app and the classroom details. So until Rahul uh, is able to get that link and send me a request, let's explore other features of this application. So let's look at the discussions tab. So discussion tab is a very useful tab. It can be used to create announcements. It can be used to start a discussion. Like for example, I want to make an announcement that tomorrow's class is canceled. And I could mention anything here. I could say, you know what, I'm sorry for the late announcement. So, so you understand, right? This could be used to start a discussion among students. This could be used to make an announcement. Students can also start discussion if they have doubts and you as a teacher could comment on that and clarify their doubts or other students uh, could clarify each other's doubts. Uh, so discussion becomes a very useful tool uh, for doubt resolutions, for announcements or conducting or facilitating any kind of discussion among the participants or the students. Uh, so let's look at another tab. So the next tab here is the resources tab. So it's a useful tab to share any kind of study material or any kind of YouTube video that you want to be shared with all the students in this class. Uh, so I have two options, documents and videos. I'll try to upload a document. Let's say it's a worksheet. Uh, it's a worksheet which has a couple of, let's say 15 questions. I can add attachment, I can upload a document or I can use the camera to take photo if I have that uh, physically in front of me. So let's say I upload the document. I already have the document. I selected that and uploaded. So now this worksheet has been uploaded. All the students in this class, whosoever is there, should be able to access this. Let's look at the next feature. Next feature is assessments. Again, a useful feature for sending and receiving homeworks, assignments, or even a subjective test. So I just need to do uh, click on add assessment. Uh, let's say it's a laws of uh, motion assessment. I can also uh, give a submission date. So this is the deadline by which students need to submit this. Uh, I'll also specify the time. So right now by 8th August 4.30 p.m. I need to get this. I can give an optional description that do this neatly. And I could also uh, specify the marks, uh, the marks of this assignment or whatever. Again, the same procedure, adding the attachment. It could be any document, it could be a photo of a worksheet that I have that I can take. So let's say again, go through the uh, attachment route and the assessment is created. Uh, when I click on the assessment again, it will tell me about the submissions. Currently it shows zero submissions because no student has currently solved this uh, and uploaded this. Uh, so let's uh, look at uh, the other uh, tabs. So now Rahul has finally got the request, uh, got my message and he has sent me a request. I can see one join request and on the students tab, uh, you can see Rahul's request is there. I can verify it is Rahul. I can see the phone number. 
because he's my student i can click on accept i can click on the tick if this was some random request if my link got shared with someone else i can also click on cross and not accept that so this is a filter where you decide who gets to be a part of your class or who doesn't so rahul now is part of my class he can see the assessment he can see the discussion that i've created he can also access the resources so all the students will get added whom i decide will get added will be part of this class so now let's start our our first class for my first class i will click on go live the moment i click on go live it should automatically create a zoom meeting let's see what happens so i clicked on go live it says launching class i'm not touching anything i'm not pressing any button automatically zoom has started automatically the meeting has started i didn't have to do anything i didn't have to create a meeting i didn't have to share meeting id password rahul would have received a notification and see he has and he has clicked on join meeting uh, he has clicked on join class and he's inside this class so i have enabled waiting room so i can uh, admit him i can also disable the waiting room so once i admit him rahul will be a part of the class so rahul now is a part of the class uh, the zoom meeting has started without there having to be any need of sharing meeting id password so this has made the uh, the life of teachers very convenient there's no need to create meeting id passwords there's no need to share them there's no risk of that getting leaked and random people entering so let me just end this meeting uh, so the class is ended and once the class is ended there's there's one last feature uh, that 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 is available to teachers through this app Uh, this class that was created was attended by rahul jain now if i go to the attendance tab there is one of the tabs as you can see on the right side of assessments that is the attendance tab in this attendance tab it tells me that you know this class was only of 40 seconds there was one attendee and that was rahul jain so not only it tells me that rahul jain was present it also tells me a percentage 83% what that means is what percentage of the time was rahul jain present so it's very important in online class because in online class we not only want to know whether the student was present or absent but also we want to know that how much time the student was present if it shows let's say 5% that means the student just entered the class and left so i need to get in touch get in touch with that student and figure out like why that student is not attending any class whether they are facing any difficulties if there's a big list if there are multiple students i can also download the attendance sheet at the end of the class or any time after a month Uh, so these are all the features of this application uh, this is available on the play store for uh, for ios users or people who want to access through through laptop they can go to the website wiseapp.live